Don't forget to follow us on social media for beautiful food and inspiration. Welcome to Local Love. We do the show live every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Pacific, right here on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. Thanks, everybody, who uh, waited after Down Ballot. Down Ballot was great. Down Ballot precedes this show at 7.30 p.m. Pacific, right here on twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. If you'd like to support this project, you can do so at echoplexmedia.com. Click the support tab. There's a bunch of different ways to support us. You can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Echoplex. You can buy stickers, echoplexmedia.com slash stickers. We have a ton of cool fucking stickers. You can um, donate bits in the Twitch channel. You can <clears throat> sub for yourself. You can gift subs to other people in the Twitch channel. You have many, many, many options. I'm joined by my uh, remote co-host, Juan Maserati. What's up, Juan? What up, everyone out there in the world? Praise the Lord. Praise the Most High God. Yeah, that, Bless you, my friends. Uh, people might like to know who you are, what you're doing here, that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind that. Scratch all that. Uh, my name is Juan Maserati. I am co-host of Local Love, and I also happen to be keyboard player for Rebels Camp and Los Improviders. Fantastic. Back well, to you, Bob. Great. Well, I, my in-studio co-host showed up, so while we get that set up, I'm going to play you a song. This is Cleopatra by Gundacker, and we'll be right back. Gundacker.
Gundacker, Cleopatra. That song's the jam. Dave Gundacker's a real cool guy. Probably gonna have him in studio pretty soon. He lives a little further away, but uh, he's a he's a pot smoking kind of guy, so he might uh he might very much enjoy his uh, time here. We love rock and roll with that Gundacker, that band Gundacker. So go ahead and introduce yourself, Chip. Hey, welcome to Echoplex Rock Radio. I'm your man. Chip Chop Deville. And <laughs> Chop. I don't even. I don't fucking know. What's up? I'm Chip Deville. Um, and uh, what up, baby? Yeah, I'm just out here locally loving all this shit. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. So if you're listening to this and you have a band and you have upcoming shows, you can send your flyers to us at echo at echoplexmedia.com or you go to the contact page if you couldn't quite hear that email. If you DM them me on Facebook, I'm going to be very angry at you. Um, but I do I do put up a post in lo- the local of podcast group. You can also, I put that up every Tuesday. You can also just drop your flyers in there. Um, people be needing to make not make their flyers like this tall and this wide, though, because our fucking shit's in widescreen. <laughs> so if they make it t- fly, you know, if, even if it fills up the maximum amount of space it can. I love doing the panoramic. I loved making, like, when I was doing flyers back in the 16, day. 16.9, just like oh, your TV, man. 16.9. Or even sometimes, like, I would just make my template the, the, because I know some people are cheap when they're throwing their shows. It's cool. We've all been there. But, like, I'll just do, like, the eight and a half by 14. So then that way you can just print it on a long ass paper at Kinko's. And, man, like, totally works. So I think people do the flyers, like, up and down because Facebook is sort of squished like this. And so yeah. everything's kind of in this up and down aspect ratio. But I really, really, really like, um, uh, wide flyers. I always made my flyers like uh, six by nine. You like your flyers with a little or, thickness, do you? Yeah, yeah. A little like nine yeah. by like my flyers <laughs> for raves were always nine by six wide. Because right. then you could like put a few boxes in the back for all the DJs, and you could fucking have a cool image on the front. But whatever, your flyers are good. Uh, we'll be running the flyers uh, on a on a um, slideshow during some of the song breaks. Uh, I've been doing that lately. Some of them got cut off because they're too wide, which I need to fix next week. Um, but I do want to talk about this show coming up. Yeah. it's the reason that uh it's well it's the reason that uh there will be no broadcast for the intellectual dollar tree tomorrow but fans of that show don't worry hk and i will pre-record um so there'll be a podcast out on like spotify and stuff and it'll come out on thursday just like usual the show is happening at liquid that's at 32 uh third street san jose that's a thir- south third and uh, uh santa clara and it's uh, free before 9 p.m. The doors open at 8. And it's $5 before 10 and $10 after 10. All of those prices are well worth the money. This is going to be a great show. We got uh, Dirtbag Dan, the headliner. Hasn't done like a show show in quite some time. You hear him flow a little bit or here and there. Look different ciphers and whatnot. But, you know, not doing too much of the not doing too much of the, the I am doing a performance thing. So that's great. We got Rebels Camp. I figure Dan will probably jump in on some Rebels Camp songs, too. We got Turn Me On Dead. <laughs> We got Drew Z from FTB, who will probably be just part of everyone's band for the show. Good to see Drew back out playing music again, too. Oh, yeah. and you got Drunken Starfighter. We got Nerd Nate. We got fucking Audio Drew on the ones and twos. It'll be a great show. Everybody should go out if you're in San Jose. He might even bust out a three. I'm just kidding. He won't. It's just ones and twos. Hey, Dave. Yes. And check this out. Zach Maloche of Relapse will be playing drums for Rebels Camp. I remember Zach. Very nice. Very nice. You didn't. You remembered his name this week. <laughs> no, I think he was. He was. For, he was forgetting the name of the drummer. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's what he said. Oh, oh, okay. Well, to be fair, I was super fucking high last time, so you know, there you go. <laughs> I barely get like if I'm high on stream, it's like two in the morning. I'm like, well, there's only about twenty minutes left of this, so I'm, I'm going to change that. I'm going to take like so, no, I'm not going to smoke that much weed. I have a show to do. I'm I'm fine with all of you doing that. But if y'all get hella, you all you all get fucking weight. Y'all get stoned. You better follow my lead. Oh, I got you. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a great show. It's good to see shows coming back. We have a, a full like complement of flyers for this week. I'm also super excited about on the 11th at our boutique 
It's the uh, Christmas show. It's the same lineup that it always is. The Relapse, Sweet High on Periscope. Super excited for that. Definitely going out to that. I believe that's a Saturday. Uh, so there'll be no Catterday that night. Um, yeah, things are, things are going pretty well. Do y'all have Thanksgiving plans? Mm-hmm. Bah humbug. Is it too early oh. to say bah humbug? No. Okay. If people cool. can put out their Christmas lights, you can say bah humbug. Fuck yeah, I can. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, and, uh, I have mixed feelings about my Thanksgiving. I, I never really travel, like, ever. Mm. Uh, I try to avoid it, usually. But I am flying down to L.A. tomorrow to see my brother and his wife and kids. I have no wife or kids. Well, um, that makes the flight cheaper. Does It does do that. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't like being in those kind of environments for too long. So, so Thanksgiving is going to be really interesting. My family usually keeps it short and sweet. I don't know really what his family does. So I'm going to just roll with the punches. And Juan, what you got for the, 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 the holiday? Well, uh, basically I'd like to brand it as happy indigenous day. Oh, cool. Indigenous people. Excellent. Day. And, that's right. And then, um, also, uh, I will be, uh, me and uh, my significant other will be flying down to to Hayward, California, <laughs> Wait, to hang flying, with my mama. Flying to Hayward? Who's driving? Yeah, that, 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 oh, uh, yeah, that was a joke. I was gonna say yeah, that's, that, be, uh, that's a that has got to be a very. Short well, I'm trying flight. to avoid all the. I'm trying to avoid all the smash and grabs along the way. So oh, yeah, man. there you go. Well, cool. But Is yes, there... uh, you're gonna be hanging with them. Is there is there a song y'all got to hear? Some dirtbag Dan, my fucking dirtbag Dan. Ooh, I got a couple. I got a couple that I like. We haven't played "Foolish Girl" in a long time. This song's fucking great. This is "Foolish Girl" by Dirtbag Dan. Dirtbag Dan will be playing tomorrow at um, Liquid Liquid Lounge in downtown San Jose. If you're in the area, make it out to that show and uh, introduce yourself to me if I don't know you. We'll be right back. It's only five dollars. I remember thinking she's the one for me And she can have anything that she want from me Little snake in the grass, shaking her ass And then taking the cash and making a dash of friends And I might have burned on a bird, but your boy was young Sometimes you gotta learn things first And damn if I didn't learn that And I swore I seen her later, she was getting burned back then Abracadabra, years down the road She trying to capture my gaze from the stage front row Oh, she said she heard I was about to blow Let's go, take me home, I knew it was on I had her pay for the tab, a couple hundred bucks Told her wait right here till a cab pulls up Cold jetted on a BZ When she got to the curb, she flipped me the bird And I was laughing saying these words Look, I was young, really didn't know Trying to turn a hoe into something mo The sex was great, this the type of chick that I could take for show She gives brain like a grade A pro So I showed up to a house party, heard she was here Head out to the backyard trying to get a beer Seen her come out of the bathroom, lipstick smeared Two dudes behind her, grins ear to ear Ouch. Years later, she hit me up on Facebook Said without a beard, she can't remember how my face looks I told her gravy, I'm shaving as we speak Send your boy a tweet, and we'll get up later this week I hit the homeboy beat, I explain the plan You can get some trim, just pretend to be Dan And right after you finish, when you're ready to go Just say, hey, the name's Pete Ho, Dan says hello Something they can't grasp If you would take the time 
mess it up for a foolish little girl. goddamn thing <laughs> i love how like our chat room it's like you know we've got a pretty good discourse going on in there like so we're like you know what this ain't really my thing but it sounds really good you know lyrics are pretty funny <laughs> like even if you don't like something you'll find something to like oh i have a i have a <laughs> feeling that like 10 to 12 percent of the, the people that follow are here for the fucking music well that's a decent percentage if there were like a, a like an award show for left twitch and there was a category like <laughs> best soundtrack we would fucking walk away with that shit that'd be great actually <laughs> we would walk away with the soundtrack yes so Juan, yes. you're probably pretty stoked it's going to be your first show like with rebels camp in what fucking almost two years man there's like so many goddamn things i'm excited about first off the the you know uh the bill itself it's like fucking all these fantastic bands you know uh and then to top it off the man himself dirtbag dan and you know we're, we're gonna have a, a good old time and uh i'm excited and and finally not least is just yeah having not played for such a long time live and uh I'm going to be feeling a certain kind of a way, of course. I'll be high, but I'll be feeling the kind of certain way as I get on that stage with my brothers. And uh, it's going to be, a, it's going to be, a, I think that, that, that like, well, let me take a step back. We just did a, a, a jam sesh a few days ago. And you know what? You know, when you talk about that old spark, that spark just went, pow, it just reignited. And we had a, a great time uh, getting reacquainted with our flow. And um, you know what? We're not we're not going to go up there with a, 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 a rehearse set. We're just going to go up there and do whatever the the, the the spirit you know calls us to do. You know what? You know what we're going to be yelling at you, right? <laughs> we're going to be the oh, spirit if, if, in the audience. No, you know, oh, what, you know, you know what we're going to be yelling at you, right? Play Hawks the ball. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's right. Play the goddamn maximum. We might be In yelling fact, potato at right you too. <laughs> just depends. It just depends. <laughs> Keep an eye out for our next sticker pack. It will have a Hamburglar on it. So when oh, you guys shit. did do your practices, like, were you doing it, uh, like, would you just kind of get together when you could, or would you guys kind of do, I don't know. I've seen some, some bands do these like zoom things and i think it's it doesn't bullshit. work i think it doesn't actually work live i think you have to edit, no it, do it doesn't work it later yeah i mean you can't do it over zoom it just violates the laws of physics exactly. like when we yeah, like when yeah. we were going when we were going when we were helping out with the first sofa people were like no there has to be a solution so that we can all play in like a d disparate locations and me I and saw it on jimmy kimmel or well, me, jimmy fallon me and me and phil tool were in there and we're like both pretty techie and we're like no you don't understand you could be in the house next door and both have a fiber internet connection and this wouldn't work. Yeah. Like it just doesn't work. The fucking, the electricity basically has to go to a server and then back to you. And if that takes fucking 10 milliseconds, your whole shit is your whole it, uh, one hundredth of a second and your whole shit is toast. And that's like, yeah. that's like assuming that you have like a fucking the best fiber connection. But as we've seen, when we've just had <laughs> guests on the show, people are on Wi-Fi. They haven't reset their Wi-Fi router since the last time there was a power outage. <laughs> like, like, you know, so like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, people were insistent that that was going to work. And then eventually people kept trying it and they were like, oh, I guess this doesn't work. It's like, no shit. The, the latency would definitely kill us. And then, of course, you know, uh, all these other externalities you have to be considering of. But basically, you know, the last time we did something, we just said, fuck it, we're just going to, um, you know, you know, off, off, offline record it and just do our thing. And it, went, it turned out really well in that, in that format. But no, when we come together, we don't really like plan on, we don't plan anything. We just come together. We, 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 we brother up, we, we smoke the herb, and then we just get on our instruments and start letting things rip. You know what I mean? And um, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's last night. It was, the session was actually uh, last night, and it was really fucking awesome, man. Well, fantastic. I'm looking forward to your set. I'm looking forward to Dan, and I'm looking forward to the bands that I'm not super familiar with, too. 
I'm uh, also looking forward to seeing Audio Drew because uh, Audio Drew, no matter who you were, he'd let you throw a show in the red room. <laughs> man, I don't know. I really we think threw that... so many empty shows in the red room that were so <laughs> fun. Man, I think uh, this this venue though is also just like a really good venue for a show. I went and caught last week's uh, Cipher, uh, and uh, Dirtbag Dan actually did a little like drop in appearance on a on a track, and it was kind of cool to see. Like that that's what? a good venue to see like a show. Really, it's just it's a good open space it's got a cool blue underwater sort of vibe there i don't know it's a, it's a good it's a good venue i feel like you know when you when you think about like the history of it like coming from like johnny v's to like back bar to now like liquid i think it's it's kind of a nice upgrade i don't know that's just me maybe wow i, I that's just gonna be my first time performing at liquid so i'm excited about that too man that'll be cool Fuck yeah It'll be my first time going, so I'm excited too. <laughs> it's fucking five minute walk from the light rail, so I'm in like a motherfucker. Also, we'll have the media wench out there tomorrow night. We'll be buying each other drinks like like old times. Maybe hand out some stickers to some people there. Um, <laughs> so we got we were gonna have uh, Lauren Uros L Low Uros on the show, but it, it turns out that it's family week for a lot of people, so uh, we're gonna push that back maybe to next next week. But I do have a song from her. And so we're going to rock that jam by her. It is called Refractal, and it's by Low Uros. And uh, I'll put in uh, something in the bot for next week so that you can go exclamation point Uros or something and get a link to her Bandcamp and shit. We'll be right back. This is Low Uros Refractal.
Fractal by Lo Uros. Possibly a guest next week on the show, either via remote or right here in the studio. I get the feeling that Lo Uros is one of those kinds of people who could hook up a mic to their computer, no problem. Oh, yeah. She's she's definitely got a couple of interfaces, I'm Ooh. sure. Yeah. Electronic music <laughs> producers, when they come on here, even DJs, they're like, no, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Like I'll just I'll just plug my fucking mic into my <laughs> DJ equipment. I'll, I'll, I know how to stream that way. I'll figure it out. That shit was good. It was quite pleasant. Um, I don't know, Juan. I think you'd probably like it. A lot of keyboards, huh? It was a it's a hot track, man. And um, you know, like you know, I, it's one of those type of flows where you know what, man. Uh, say you're you're doing something, you know, you're working or you're trying to do schoolwork or whatever the fuck it is. You can pop this in before you know it you'll just be like in your flow and i love music like this where it brings about that flow that that's you know creativity and that push to get you know to have you focus in on your shit love it i like to listen over soundcloud sometimes when i'm on long drives or uh like i'm driving over 17 on my way to santa cruz it's a good one hell yeah Ooh, yeah that Mm. route that scenic ass route so a couple quick music things. Uh, one Saturday late night after we do the Operation Catterday uh, open panel, 10 p.m. Pacific. I'll be spinning this week. I'll be doing drum and bass. Mm. Been uh, going through my old backups and my drum and bass music. Uh, cause somebody last week was like, oh, it's a shame that you don't spin drum and bass. And I'm like, well, I don't, but I have a bunch of it from like <laughs> 10 years ago. Let's let's party. And so I've been kind of going through the track to practice and a little bit be doing that uh, Friday. That'll be oh, wow. next Friday, I think. Uh, it's December 3rd. I don't know if it's next Friday, the probably two Fridays from now I'm getting, I'm involved with a uh, DJ star, DJ star noir. We raid her a lot. I'll be involved in an event that they're doing. It's not a charity event. It's just a big raid train, bunch of uh, different kinds of DJs. All you got to do is be a little bit gay and uh, you can be on this raid train and they have me closing it out at midnight. So we'll be doing uh, we'll be doing three hours of conspiracy Woo! bingo and switching over to that. Uh, last <laughs> time, last couple times we did this. It was a lot of fun. I wanted to just thank everybody in the community when the people came over, like after we had done like our usual content switched over and the people came over from the music stuff, y'all were like super nice to them and welcoming and didn't like bring the shit from our other content into the music stream. Super great. And um, if, if we're doing it with stars, people that that fucking last raid is going to be like 200 fucking people and it'll be great. Um, I'll clearly be playing disco house because it's going to be like going to be like a lot of people and that'll be on december 3rd so that's music stuff for me um haven't lined up any gigs yet because i'm still uh hesitant to play indoors but uh we'll see how it goes uh chip do you have anything coming up man i miss playing indoors so fucking bad i've just been bugging the hell out of my neighbors like i've been doing a lot of restaurants which is i mean it's cool and it's kind of fun but nobody really gets to interact so i'm just kind of up there in my perch kind of watch like i'll play a song and just kind of wait to see like the person who kind of just starts shaking their shoulder or just kind of moving in their seat a little bit and I, like because i'm like oh I, I did that you know like I, I i like i get a kick out of that but man i'm bored i miss playing like i just i miss making people dance dude i i played i was supposed to be doing laundry all weekend i just played for four hours straight uh of just like music my roommate wasn't home and I don't care what my neighbors think. So I just went hammer for like four hours and time just kind of disappeared for a while there. It was great. Yeah, man. Well, you are Love that. Uh, during the afternoon on the weekends. You are welcome to come the fuck over here and just stick your shit on top of my shit and plug in and uh, rock my channel for a while. Cause it'll Dude, be, it'll I, be an active chat. I will do that. We'll get super litty. Yeah, yeah, because I don't have to talk in, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine, and then I can take a nap before my show. We or, like you and like we'll we'll cut in. We'll just do like radio. It's like, hey, it's Catterday, and I'm here oh, with producer <laughs> Dave. Well, if you're free ever, ever on a Saturday at 10 p.m., you can just play instead of me after our uh, fucking uh, after our open panel too. Uh, see what people have to think about that. But yeah, yeah. there's there's a lot of, a lot of shit going on here in the Bay Area, and I'm glad to see things kind of getting back sorted and normal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust Ish. people though. I don't trust motherfuckers. Dude, though. for real. I don't know. I I have somebody tomorrow night that's like fucking full has full blown COVID isn't vaccinated and just gonna be one of them close talkers and I'm well, gonna get that shit like for sure. I I still like I don't mind wearing my mask indoors. Like I don't mind going into a venue and keeping my mask on. Cause yeah, you don't you really don't know. 
And well, you don't know if you're walking around with it too, because the mask, like it, it prevents, it doesn't, it's, it's less likely to prevent you from getting it than to prevent you yeah. from spreading it. But it's like, it's like one of those things where you, you uh, stop at the stop sign because you're going to not run into somebody else's car. It's like, yeah, it's like a stopping at the stop sign. It's not like a, it's not like a seatbelt. It's like the stopping at the stop sign. I mean, I was low key germaphobic before long, long before any of the COVID shit. Like the, the, the most first time, first when you started hanging out with the local love, were you freaking out? You're like, this apartment's not very clean. I don't know um, about this. Not really. Like, these people seem like they might be sick. Some no, I do worry <laughs> sometimes about putting my face close to microphones, but I've kind of gotten over that. Uh, oh, I replace these every fucking month now. The oh, little sweet. covers. Yeah, That's every, cool. every, even if the mic doesn't get used, you get a new cover every thirty days. Here. Yeah, I like that policy. I do that with my wireless ones that I use for gigs. Eventually, oh, speaking of gigs, eventually Queen Bingo is coming back. I think like that'll be coming back some. Dude, point is that a, is that an event that would be because it's like Queen Bingo? Is that an event where where it would be appropriate for me to close out the event after the event's over? I mean, if they had, that's the thing, man. Okay, so used to be that event was just great. It was packed to the gills. It so was basically, what, when I didn't ask is yeah. when I should have asked. Yeah, <laughs> because that would have been wonderful. To, right, even if it's just, just people coming out the door, there'll be five or six people who come around and be like, oh, that's a remix of Dr. Love. I'm going to well, hang out for a minute. Back in the day, it was just people wanted to dance until the bar closed. Now they still do. They're just not allowed to. Mm. It's really frustrating. Well, I mean, you know, um, like that's in Campbell. And this yeah. one of the things about this place is like I encountered like the entire time one person who was shitty about any of this stuff and they were at the post office but there was a big line at the post office and the other people were like if you don't like it fucking leave i'm trying to mail something and i was like you get them you get them grandma i like that but yeah it's i don't know like outdoor is a problem at night because it makes hella noise like basically the only event you can play outdoors at night and like get loud is bike party but that's just because the police are now afraid to try to break up bike party after all the times they were like, Oh, try it, try it. You don't know what you don't know. You know, you don't know. It's like, the, it's like the staff for a city council member here. You did this 5,000 people here. You don't know who's here. Yeah. Is there somebody here who bought the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's always a possibility. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all really, it's all really messed up. Like I got an offer to play a ravey rave in Oakland and it was somebody I kind of know and trust. And I was like, what are you fucking out of your mind? Is it just more of the, uh, like just, you know, the fact that since it's unregulated sort of like that people No, are... because it's inside and I knew where the space was and the space is small. Ah, I see. I was like, oh, is it a private party? They're like, no. And I'm like, are you hot? Like mm -hmm. at the space it's at, like I know the people that run the space and if they did a private party and it was like just kind of fam yeah. and we were all there hanging out like old school rave fam, I, that's a risk I would be willing to take even though they wouldn't pay me yeah, because it would be like, oh, I'd get to see like, I'd get to see all my friends that used to be like rave DJs with me. Yeah. This was just like a full on event. I'm like, are you fucking crazy? I'm like, go get a 20 year old to play that. Yeah. <laughs> like somebody who's going to just bounce back if they <laughs> get that shit. I started, I'm like, I just told him, I'm like, I started smoking again during COVID. Should I be at the rave? He's like, oh, they don't care if you smoke there. I'm like, get out of here. I'm like, <laughs> like, like, hit me up when you have an event on a yacht or something. Ooh, I would bucket list right there. I'm just, oh, yacht. Juan, what, what was that again? Yacht. Juan, oh. do you have a yacht? Well, I man, I, I wouldn't even know what to do with the yacht. I'm like, okay, uh, we'll just uh, what I do with the yacht and sell that shit to some <laughs> dumb person. I'd be like, oh, you want an expensive boat? Well, you're stupid because all this boat is going to do is cost you more money. It's a boat. I just imagine the overhead would be, uh, it'd be a shit ton, shit ton of money. Even if I had, so, even if I had know. yacht money, what I would do is just like charter a yacht when I needed one. Speaking of nautical um type stuff what was that one band that was kind of like pirate punk uh you know very yar uh they oh man damn it i'm not even yeah oh my god pandemonium isn't it i think so yeah you're right you're right pandemonium so i think the song we might be talking about here is um Maybe something, the one with the serpent. I don't this know. might not be the, 
No, this is definitely, it's definitely fucking, um, this is definitely the band. But you know what? We got to play Super Bloom by Brendan Getzel. And here's why. Um, Brendan Getzel has uh, been supportive of this project to the extent that any fucking serious musician would ever be supportive of the local love project. Also, Chip, if you haven't heard this song, this dude is like, this dude is like Elton John. This is like unreal how talented he is. Like his songwriting abilities just if you haven't heard Super Bloom, then you're about to hear Super Bloom. This is Super Bloom by Brendan Getzel, friend of the show. Oh, yeah. uh, Brendan Getzel does have a Twitch channel. I think it's just at Brendan Getzel. And um, yeah, everybody should uh, follow Brendan Getzel. The Super Bloom will be right back.
Yo, we're back. That was Super Bloom by Brendan Getzel. Like, Dude, I'm blown away. That was really fucking good. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he's he's an amazingly talented. If you haven't gotten to see Cat Robo Show and the the fucking uh not the roadside attraction. What is it? The the Darling the band of Darling Misfits and the uh Misfit Cabaret. Fucking amazing show. But wow, man. That was really good. I'm trying to remember you were talking about like some fucking like um like like sea shanty like music and I think Pandemonium is in that thing but there was there's another fucking band that we have where the fuck is the media wench when we you know what the media wench is like our music historian yeah the media wench has fucking kids and is all hanging out with her family like the other band fuck it's like um god damn it well anyway while I try to figure that out we're gonna rock another tune here. And um, we'll put up the little slideshow of uh, upcoming events and we'll do an actual segment when we get back, I promise. But here's the flyers. And this is Exit Reality by Satabria. Ooh, go on. That was Exit Reality 
I fucking Satabria. We're gonna get Satabria back on the show too. Those fuck those cats are so talented. Oh, yeah. Man. So much good music comes out of the Bay Area. It's it's pretty mind blowing when you really think about it. Well, in Satabria's case specifically, it's like yeah. pop electronic rock, and it's like, why is this not at the Grammys? Right, right. It's it's really good music. It's crazy that we, the, you know, the Bay Area gets, in a lot of ways, overlooked by the uh, the mainstream music industry. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I'm just a little bit stony baloney. Yes, but probably, I, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I just got this really great idea. It is Tuesday in my head, uh, where we first of all is the metro no longer a thing? Is the metro dead? I'm pretty sure the Silicon Valley Metro might be dead. No, it's no, no, no. I, I go to the liquor store sometimes to buy beer, and the Silicon Valley Metro is there. Okay. Yeah, I see it too at uh, some spots. Because I went to their website a while back, and it just seemed like the last. Oh, go to San Jose Inside is their website. Uh okay, okay. That makes more sense than why the last um thing that they had posted was like old. Yeah, go to San Jose. It should their website. Uh, they need to hire me because I can do complicated <laughs> things like redirecting well <laughs> and then send people to san jose inside <laughs> well i think though i just had this great idea of like what if one day we rented out the the art boutique and we had like a local music awards show and we call it like the plexis or something oh my. <laughs> oh, i would call it I would call it the awards for whoever showed up. Yeah. <laughs> if your band does it, you must be you must be present to win all the awards. So then like only like three bands would Sweet win. Sweet Hiya and Rebels Camp win everything. Sweet Hi- Sweep. Sweet Hiya <laughs> wins best country album. <laughs> Do we have any country artists yet? No, I've been fucking there's yeah. a couple things that were like lacking. I'm sure there's a fucking country artist like in the 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 the, the zone, right? It's not just San Jose. The zone like I think that, you know how there's like the bay and then the land and then there's one set of hills and then another set of hills? Yeah. Well, I'll go out to that second set of hills, right? <laughs> like the set of hills after Tracy. Yeah. But not beyond that unless you're in Sacramento and you're awesome. Um, but that, that includes bay. Santa Cruz, Monterey, you know, San Francisco, Oakland, the, the East Bay, the North Bay, like Marin, um, like Petaluma, all that. Um, but if you're in Lodi, I'm not playing your music. How about Boulder Creek? <laughs> I found a dude with a banjo out in Boulder Creek. You never know. I mean, if he can record himself, even if he can't record himself, I'll still play it. But uh, no, we're missing. We're missing Boulder some Creek? stuff here. We're missing country music or music inspired by country music. Um, mm-hmm. Some of the Panhandler stuff is inspired by country music a little bit, like Murder Folk. Yeah. Um, and um, but we're also like missing the whole like Latin people music community. There's like all kind of bands all kind of bands and like, mm-hmm. we're not reaching those people it's probably because we're fucking basic well well it's never, never too late to to you know reach out man it's like hey never fellow latinos <laughs> like what do you mean reach out <laughs> well i actually speak spanish but that's even weirder if i like tried to email them in spanish they'd, they'd look at the channel <laughs> they'd be like fuck this guy <laughs> oh wait a minute you know what they'd do they'd be like uh they'd be like uh fuck this dude <laughs> I, you know, I'll tell you what. I would love to see uh, a uh, Echoplex charter a Spanish podcast pod, a podcast show on the Echoplex channel, and uh, that's just what I need you know, another podcast to put out. Thanks, man. <laughs> how many podcasts do we have? One quick, quick Echoplex media, oh, um, Echoplex media trivia. How many? How many weekly podcasts do we have? Dude, I know there is uh, ec- local love. There is satanic panic. There that's is not a podcast. Cindy I'm show. talking like shit that goes to Spotify. You don't even know the difference. Okay, well, satanic I'm not panic. That, we don't uh, put it to Spotify. We should though. Fuck it. We should put everything yeah. on Spotify. We should have the Firehose account on Spotify. I um, mean, obviously, I'm not tra- I'm keeping track, but I know it's a lot of fucking stuff that's put getting put out, and that's fucking <laughs> awesome. keeping track. You're never here. You're like I'll show up for local love. It's it's funny actually that um. It's funny, like Chip's getting interested in the chat. I want to see you in the chat some other nights, though. I want to see you in the chat some other nights. And, uh, to be fair, I do pop in on on occasion, and you get you you actually get pretty deep in it. I love actually watching you, motherfucker. 
I, I get God deep in it. And sometimes when things are going crazy, the chat just starts. It's good for my. I can't read any of it, but great for my ego. And the uh, red light is it just fucking amazing, man. That's another section of local love I like. Como se dice Echoplex? Echoplex is a proper name, and so it's said the same way in Spanish and English. Uh, proper names are said the same way. <laughs> Como se dice Echoplex? <laughs> Como se dice go fuck yourself? <laughs> oh, that was you, Chip. That was me. <laughs> Professor QAnon likes you. Professor QAnon wants you to be in the chat more so that you can fucking start showing up on random nights. Because, like, the thing is, the problem is if, like, People show if if like you showed up on a random night, you're funny and stuff, but you don't know the lore. You have no yeah. idea what the fuck we're talking about. If you showed up in the middle of the Thursday night show, you'd be like, "Huh? Who's I Blaine?" Might, I might I might bother some people with my lack of knowledge, but then I'll get a kick out of it, and I'm sure you will get a kick out of me riling people up, being kicked out. Of <laughs> I'd get a kick out of you, and then I'd kick you out of my show. <laughs> be like. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> um, <laughs> <You're> grounded. <laughs> um, it's it's really interesting. We used to. I don't know uh, if people were. If you Chip, you were certainly around. Juan, you were around. It would, would do you remember? Sometimes we'd have like eight people that wanted to be on local love. And, oh man! And then, and then there we'd have to whittle it down to five, and then one person would watch it on Icecast <laughs> <laughs> or, or listen on Icecast. Man, that was when we were just like audio it. only and people were about it. We'd get phone calls. You can call the show, by the way. You can. Uh, yeah. And I might even notice it's 408. Oh, no. 415-903. See, I don't even remember the fucking phone number. <laughs> Somebody hit bang phone in the channel in the chat. You can call. Um, Juan, can you bother G. Willikers to give us a call and maybe give us a little bit of rundown about the show tomorrow? Maybe. Sure, I will uh, do that right now. Because we've tried to have him remote in via video, and it's like a slideshow because um, I, he's one of those people whose router hasn't been reset since the last time his power went out. But that's all right. We love G. Willikers. I'm going to give him the biggest hug tomorrow. Juan, I'm going to give you a hug too, but I'm going to give G. Willikers a bigger hug tomorrow because I ain't seen him. For sure. For sure. For sure. Professor Q and on up on that business. Did we, uh, did we find our sea shanty? We did. We did. Uh, also, just shout out to my mods, Professor QAnon. Shout out to you. I interviewed Professor QAnon. Uh, that's literally a professor who wrote a academic paper about QAnon. <laughs> we have you are you are uh, not legion yet, but y'all are smart. All right, here's a sea shanty for you. It's called Tittleman Slag Arr. by Valensaro R. <laughs>
told you I had a fucking sea shanty. Yar. Like that I'll do a I'll one. do a lot of dumb shit on here, but I'll never lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good that was a good song, my lad. Yes. Oh, Chip, you just got some stickers. What do you think Yar. of your stickers? I like these stickers. They be quite nice. You can put them up to the camera. I can't wait to put some on my laptop. Yar. Yes. So we got uh we got By the media way- wench. We got Saloon. We got oh no. We got we got the Echoplex logo. We've got the Dave in a in a in a paper plane. Yeah, and the other one. Do you don't even know about the other one? I am trying to decipher this. Those are pe- that's people stealing a door from the Capitol on January sixth. Oh shit! I would probably be able to see it if it wasn't for the red light. And yeah, that, that I'm wow. Going. <laughs> like <laughs> legitimately, like one of our emotes is people stealing a door from the Capitol building on January sixth. It's like really low res, but we like got it from like a low resolution stream we were watching. We watched that happen in real. Wow, time. that's cool. You know, my, <laughs> so my fun thing to think about that is there was like some contractor, right? And it was their job to like replace that door on January 6th that they would like lose their contract. And they're like, listen, all hell is breaking loose. But if you just here, here, here's a tri cornered hat. Just, just yell, <laughs> fuck Joe Biden and go inside and get the door out of there because we will lose the contract if you don't go get the door. So just go get the door out of there. And I feel like some contractor was like, just had felt like. They were just so worried about losing their government contract that they just went in, like, didn't break anything, took the door and left. I was going to bring it back, I tell you. I really was. One of the things I really <laughs> want, and this is starting to get into post-game material, but that's fine. I would like to find out what happened to that door. Is it on someone's yeah. double wide? Is it in the Smithsonian? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tried to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Didn't really have too much luck. All right, uh, so... We're six minutes over the podcast, so listen, local love people that are listening to this podcast, you got six minutes extra content. If you want more extra content, go to six minutes. Go to um, patreon.com slash echo You can get more extra content, and if you're real slick, you can just go watch the whole replay of this on Twitch. As uh, Walter from NVS was like, no, I just watched the replay. <laughs> <laughs> like I can see the whole thing. Um, yeah, check out our other podcasts. Just type Echoplex Media into your podcatcher. We're not going right into the crazy. We'll do a little bit of post game, have a little bit of chat with my two co-hosts here. Um, I don't know. The people in the chat can start telling us what to talk about. <laughs> and uh, if anybody wants to join uh bang panel, I got room for other people and we will go into the crazy. I was dragging ass during the beginning of the show, but I've been drinking <laughs> um, this drink and it is mostly energy drink, leastly vodka. So, hmm. Woo! Wow, yeah, you should see the other way around for the ratio. I mean, feel free to make yourself one if you're inclined. <laughs> they are delicious. <laughs> that Amsterdam vodka with red with uh, energy drink is a really good. Uh, we have to close out with a song, and um, what I need both of you to do is just the first song that we have that comes into your head. Go. Mm, I mean, I'm always a sucker for roughies. I would like to go with. Uh, uh, Dreamland 2016. I agree with him. This is verse. This is Dreamland. And uh, we'll be back with some post game. And then trust me, by like about 1030 our time, we'll get into the we'll get into the crazy. I'll kick out all my co-hosts. And I mean, <laughs> y'all, y'all will get what you really the want. The derp can continue.
Dreamland by Verse. That's Jeremiah Lee Verse, a basis from the Rebels Camp. Check out the camp show tomorrow night with a dirtbag Dan. Well, shit, we're uh, in the post game. This isn't going out to the podcast. Uh, the chat could tell us what to talk about, but we scared them all off by doing local love. It seems to be the seems to be the uh, the thing around here on damn. Twitch. God damn it! It's like the one show I'm really good at, and and nobody wants to tune in. I'm going to change this. We've built the audience that we've built here, and it's mostly my fault. Though, like Dave is mostly sober and not yelling about somebody who's an idiot. I got to go check out some <laughs> other channel right now. So what's Ooh, is, that a, is that a CBD or some THC right there? That that, that thing you're smoking? Because I know it's not a ciggy. It's some um, some sour diesel sativa. Mm. You know what we need is a better version of Video Ninja where you can just hand that to me so I can try it. Let me help. Did you did you bring anything? Did, did you bring anything? Oh look at that! I, I, oh that's the rest. Oh! Instead of yester joint, that's rest of joint. Yeah, this is the rest of joint. <laughs> So Love somebody it. needs to write Love a song about it. like to the tune of the Beatles yesterday, but do yester joint. Yester joint. <laughs> I thought that I had missed the point, but now I've got a whole nother joint. It <laughs> must have been that yester joint. See, like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, oh, I'm I have a quite song. higher than I used to be. <laughs> Cause I got this weed in front of me. Oh yes, <laughs> I've got some yester joint. So uh, real quick, yes, real quick, yes. not real quick. We're gonna play another song. It's to the tune of yesterday, but it's uh, about not cannabis. We'll be right back. <laughs> More cocaine. How I wish I had some more cocaine Now don't be angry, let me please explain I went through all of your cocaine Suddenly There's only half a line in front of me not nearly as much as there used to be That bag of snow went suddenly Why we have no blow, I don't know I couldn't say I had one eight ball which was all of your cocaine More cocaine Now I'm jonesing hard for more cocaine There's a hole that's growing in my brain I need to fill with more cocaine Why we have no blow I don't know I couldn't see I had one eight ball Which was all of your cocaine More cocaine Gotta help me get some more cocaine Where'd you hide the rest of your cocaine? I know you have some more cocaine It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. It reminds me of another time. Which was like American Dream is the former uh, bassist of uh the Ruffies. Oh shit. What's he played good? bass on Don't mm -hmm. Hate the Cops and he was one of the background vocals and stuff. Oh, right on. <laughs> it was good. If he hasn't seen me since before weed was legalized in California, that means I might have sold it to him. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what he means, actually. Hey, man, that's I exactly what days. that means. I don't miss those that days. Cat- Fuck that. I like legal weed. Can I just say that that cat is also extremely talented in in like the projects that he embarks on? Fucking amazing. And mad respect to you, brother, because I'm like, I'm in awe. Also an extremely talented Twitch viewer because he shows up here late at night almost every stream. So fuck, yeah. shout out to you, American Dream. American Dream. Yeah, man. Mer- yeah, American Dream. I'm going to have American Dream on here to debate Curtis one night. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> That's Do so it. funny. I don't know. I, I love that, uh, that I guess like Curtis can rub some people the wrong way. I guess it's just... That's nah, just fine. It's it's some boomer shit. It's fine. It's some boomer shit. It's fine. I love Curtis. <laughs> Curtis is my friend. I'm never gonna go at Curtis. <laughs> so, was there anything especially derpy going on uh, on on down ballot today? Oh, down ballot was great. We I don't know if you know about the Millennium Tower. Do you know about the Millennium Tower? Yeah, the Millennium Tower. The one that's like, yo, they just won't. What they need to do. They need to just start taking it apart. It's like, have you turned it off and turned it back on again? They need to do that with the Millennium Tower. Just start What's... removing everything from it. Tear down the building. Get rid of the foundation. And then start over. You have all the shit that you took off of the building in the first place. I'm just I'm just shocked that it's even news still. It's that because it, it, I feel like another Millennium Tower like news article comes out almost like every other month or so. And it's just like, why? This they knew about this shit like no, they, built, they built they built it was on landfill or like fucking like <laughs> yeah like not landfill what do they call it where they fill in the bay right where they extended it it's the, in is is it called is it on landfill not landfill but there's like yeah there's a word for it but then they, man-made <laughs> land <laughs> but then they just like drilled the foundation into the mud that was there they didn't That's there's crazy. like bedrock like below it and they didn't drill the foundation in the bedrock and they're like <sighs> hey, let's build this big thing it's ba- it's fucking it's connected to mud <laughs> in an earthquake That's prone crazy. region here the apartments are fourth four million dollars come come give us your money rich people well they Ooh. just need to tear it down and start over <laughs> They don't need to explode wow. it. I would take it apart carefully because all them windows and shit, those are like expensive panes of glass. Fucking tear it up, tear it down piece by fucking it is piece. built on a landfill. Look at that. That's crazy. That's the problem is they didn't yeah. drill into the bedrock. Uh, yeah. Every other building That's- around there is drilled into the bedrock and it costs them more money. I'm, so, I'm just surprised that a civil, the civil engineer, architect, whoever the fuck... I'm um, just um, allow that just to be, you know. Like, but I'm now a civil engineer architect, and I'm saying take each window pane off piece by piece. Take each piece of, <laughs> and then fucking redo the foundation and put the fucking building up exactly like it was before. You're going to create jobs. You're going to create jobs, and then the building won't just tilt. I don't know. I feel like maybe they were bank. Okay. Not to get all conspiracy. Were they banking there. on the world ending? <laughs> Were they banking on like something to go wrong with it? Like, okay, if you can remember back in the day, Santana Row burnt down before Santana Row is what it is today. Right, but the like, thing that was right. there before at Santana Row wasn't like one of the most expensive high rises ever built. No, no, but like the first like Santana Row version 1.0 was supposed to be basically version 2.0. It, but like that might have been an insurance scam right but they didn't that. build like this is the millennium tower did you see that building it looks like it's a gaming computer <laughs> <It does. laughs> alienware like, like it looks like an alienware <laughs> fucking apartment <laughs> complex that shit was expensive to build i don't know who I, did they design it to fail or is this just like they're like oh my god your design looks like an alienware computer we're using your design and nobody checked to see if the design was good i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I just I remember one night pre COVID waiting in line at a club and you could see the Millennium Tower and there's a pretty cool light show going on at the top. Right, but that's what they spent all their money on and not drilling down to the bedrock like a like a regular person would. They're like, but we have this cool light show and the people in San Francisco were like, meh. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I microdosed on wow. that night. So I was enjoying it. But yeah, uh, I could never afford to live in there. Well, now maybe you can. You just better have a parachute. (laughs) 
parachute and a good life insurance policy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, am I your beneficiary? Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody, you know what you can do for me right now is take out a life insurance policy and make me the beneficiary. <laughs> and here's why. Because I'm not going to kill you. There's no, first of all, I can't, <laughs> I like, couldn't like do it morally or ethically, but also like I probably just don't have the means to like do it in any sort of clean and efficient way. And so if one of you happens to pass on, I'll get like $80,000. And I feel like this is like the, <laughs> the primary thing that people should be doing. All 12 of you right now, take out a life insurance policy. Be like, gay Dave is the beneficiary. They'd be like, who's that? You'd be like, oh, you don't know who that is? I'm going to go with a different life insurance company. <laughs> Clearly, you don't That's listen terrible. to podcasts. Terrible. <laughs> Clearly, you don't watch Twitch at 2.30 in the morning uh, wondering why the person there is, oh my God, that peppy. That Pepe, the Pepe take. <laughs> I'm so glad we have Pepe back. You remember when Pepe was like a Nazi thing? Yeah, that was a weird. That was a weird thing because I always thought he looked just so happy. He was well. We have him back, and he takes notes in our chat. If you can see that little little cutie mode of Pepe taking notes, <laughs> that's kind of rad. No, don't get an insurance policy on me. If twelve of you po- take out an insurance <laughs> policy on me, I'd fucking ban all of you. I'd be like, watch somebody else's channel, fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. No, if, you're, if you're like a casual viewer of this show and you're a normal person and you're going to take out a life insurance policy on yourself or me, you're probably going to take it out on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Dave's going to get hit by light rail or something. It'll be like it'll be like the weirdest thing. We, we joke about like <clears throat> the joke comes from my mother, but we joke about like the end of the show is you're just going to see a hand with a firearm come in through the window. <laughs> and then fucking splat and then the show's over like, who framed roger rabbit style just right that's damn who god damn it. you see that can't it's off but like right above you there's like a camera and when you come in the living room oh. there's another camera oh cool yeah you know why we have them no my mother watched my show two nights in a row and then sent them to me <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mom, thanks for the cameras. What's up? She's like, Oh, somebody's going to kill you. Oh my god. That's I, funny. She's like, I watched your show two nights in a row. Someone's going to kill you. I'm like, Mom, nobody watches the show. <laughs> well. That's how it all starts. I feel like that's how that's how like all those stories start. Is like but every 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 show ends up having that breaking moment. The Break. That moment is not now. I do, I do feel like somebody could just climb to the window at any moment. Yes, though. a cat I did, know. actually. <laughs> I talked about this here real quick. Cat jumps in the window, scares the shit out of me in the morning. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a cat I'm familiar with. It's shown up on the windowsill and just sat there before during the show. I thought we were cool. Um, <laughs> cat jumps into the window in my bedroom and tries to get out, but the screen is on there properly, which is odd because most of the windows here don't even have fucking screens anymore. Um, <laughs> right. So like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I try to reason with the cat because it's, I've seen it before. No reasoning with the cat tail, big fluffy. I realize that it's just hanging out between my blinds and my window and freaking out on the, um, on the screen. And that's probably bad right. for the kitty, for my screen, <laughs> like for everyone involved. So I like put on some clothes and I go out and I like scare the kitty away from the screen. And then I open my front door and the cat's standing there and I'm like, I like back up so I can <laughs> run outside and it like runs into the kitchen. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I accidentally, the studio windows open because I accidentally left it open last night. <laughs> I'm going to close my front. I'm going to close my bedroom door and close the doors except for to the studio. And then I fucking went back to bed and then I woke up and there was no angry cat here anymore. <laughs> the moral of that story though, producer Dave sleeps naked. Dude, why wouldn't you? <laughs> what? Like, why wouldn't you? Like, it's not, it's not even like sexy to sleep naked. It's just like, why wouldn't you? I don't know. I don't know. Just in case, like, I don't I know, I feel could... like my house would probably, like, catch on fire <laughs> in the middle of the night, and i just have to run out there. I don't even like, I don't even like looking at myself when I come out of the shower. I wouldn't really want to have to come out my burning house with just, you know, me and my belly and my dick. I'm just not, it's not a pleasant sight. Listen, if your fucking shit's burning down, people are going to excuse stuff like that. It's just the way that it is. And also, like, why wouldn't you sleep naked? I don't know. Like, I'm not judging you. I'm just, like... 
yeah, of course. Like, you should sleep naked. It's good for you. It's good for the soul. Hmm. I'm going to work on my soul tonight. Try it and never tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to leave you two with the chat. Maybe you can, maybe you can drum up some listeners by, with some bands. Okay. I'll be right back. Well, let's say, twisted let's tea or something. Produced. Sure, yeah, I'll do one of those. Oh, have you ever had a twisted tea? I have not. Well, you're you're gonna know why there's been a twelve pack of twisted tea in my refrigerator for like four months in a minute. <laughs> all right. Ooh, all right. Law dog started sleeping naked more than five years ago, and is never going five back. Years. Okay. What about what about farts? Like, don't you worry? At least, don't you want like some sort of filter between your butt and your sheets? <laughs> And all those That's like, what little I'm fecal particles. I'm not even joking. I mean, it's kind of funny, but like for real, isn't that a little bit gross to know that there's just hella fecal in your sheets? <laughs> do you do your laundry what? every day? No. Yeah, I mean, what the, if you shard on your sheets? And, yeah, and, and then, and then yeah. with the farts comes the sharts. Like, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> like. Like, I mean, I don't know, that, man. I mean, there's just, there's, you there's, you adjust. I you adjust. It. You adjust. How do you, ad you adapt? Uh, you adapt. I, uh, <laughs> cause I'm all for like yes. sleeping in my underwear. I'm all for that. Like I would do that, but man, like, I don't know. Just, you always have a ready set of clothes just in case I do have to run outside. Maybe That's it's just me thing. being an old, an my, old man. My, my room only has one entrance and one exit. And then there's a the bathroom. So, I mean, I don't know. You ever wake up and you need to throw up and somehow, like, magically, like, you just always can still get there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think sleeping naked is for the, for the young people. Oh. When you, when you uh, get older. Shit, am I old now? I'll, I'll, Fuck. <laughs> I'm All just right. saying, you know, I like I, I like a good pair of long johns, you know. When it gets cold outside, no, what you need is more covers. <laughs> long johns, man. That's long not jones. bad. Really, I think that's not good. It's not great, <laughs> but it's not bad. <laughs> it's, Twisted tea. It's not great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, Lion loses sharts are a problem regardless of the filtration system. You don't need a filtration system to sleep, do you? <laughs> Dude, this tastes like a watered down Long Island. <laughs> like, I feel like like the Twisted Tea Factory it just collects all like the watered down Long Islands and all the dive bars across the country. Oh, God. <laughs> and just redistributes them. Like fucking, there's like fucking, there's like, like, like a, a backwash in there and shit. <laughs> it's like backwash in the <laughs> Twisted Tea. All like, right. Twisted Tea, I still, I, my, my opinion is Twisted Tea should only be used as a weapon. <laughs> I mean, it's. Oh, no. Yeah, it just tastes down, like a watered down cocktail. Like you let your ice melt into your cocktail. Ooh, I just poured a cocktail where that would not really be. Mm. Here you, wanna, you, wanna, you ever you wanna, do that in the morning? Try this. Like you ever like you ever try, drink ooh, your watered down? Cocktail? I gotta wait for the ice to melt on that. That's a, you know what happens is the night gets longer. I get like a little more aggressive with my pour, and then you get gay Steve. That's delicious. Hi, I'm gay Steve. No, gay Steve. That's I'll gay Kevin. One, man. No. gay Steve is like mean. Oh, really? <laughs> Here, we have, we have a TV. Okay, Steve. I will try a twisted <laughs> cocktail with you, sir. <laughs> They're so cute. Like our emotes are adorable. Get get some fucking stickers. <laughs> Law dog, why don't you have some stickers? What's wrong with you? We have emote stickers. See them on my mic? There's like little emotes on my mic. Oh, I can kick you both off the screen. Hold on. Look. There's like emotes. Ah, it does stand. Oh, it stands actually pretty good. Here. No. That's a great microphone stand. It doesn't make any noise. It fights back a little bit. Great mic stand. What's up? All right. We're going to play one more song. What do you, and, well, not one more song but 
What, what do you want to hear? I want to. From Rebels Camp. Rebels Camp. Uh, uh, uh. Comfortable. Echoplex. Oh, Rebels yeah. Fucking, <laughs> put it, oh, put, here, go ahead, Chip. Ladies and gentlemen, put a napkin over your drinks. Here's an Echoplex classic. This is the Rebels Camp with Huxtable. We got time for one more. Cliff Huxtable, did I hear that? Huxtable! Huxtable! <laughs> and, we, and we got a call for our most controversial song. Uh -oh. I'm not comfortable! Cover your drinks, put a napkin over your drinks, because it's time for Huxtable. The mind plays oh, tricks. Man. There's always a local love hit in the house. I see. <laughs> 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 